Hey guys, I'm Brittany. This is Under the Radar Books. Welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my February book haul. These are books that I either bought myself, found at thrift stores, got as gifts. Um, so let's get started. The first one is one that I've already read. It's a very short little graphic novel novella called The New Ghost by Robert Hunter. It has very stunning artwork. It's a very interesting story about a new ghost and how he learns to be a spirit and it's it's very interesting um, I gave it three stars um, I did enjoy it um, I really wanted more to the story I think um, but that's hard to do in such a short little novella so uh, if you're looking for a quick little read I would recommend this one next I bought delicious foods by James Hanahan and um, it has been on my radar for a while I think I heard about this on the readers podcast originally um, but then the Poptimist did a wonderful review of it and I knew that I had to buy it immediately because it just sounds so interesting. You know, it's a story about a mother and a son who um, whose lives are destroyed by drugs and violence. Um, but the really interesting thing to me is that one of the actual characters is crack cocaine. Like you are reading from the point of view of the mother, the son, and then crack cocaine as a character. So I think that is just so intriguing and I like have to see what that is all about. Um, so I had to get this one and another beautiful cover so I'm happy to have it on my shelves. Next up I found this at a thrift store and I love fairy tales and folk tales so I couldn't resist. Um, it is Scottish folk and fairy tales and since I will be taking a trip to Scotland later this year I think it would be really fun to read these and um, you know familiarize myself with some of the folk and fairy tales that are in Scotland. Next up, I've been wanting this book for so long and I finally just bit the bullet and bought it for myself. It is Heap House by Edward Carey. And I can't remember where I originally saw this. I know it's been on quite a few booktube channels. Um, this is a middle grade book about um, a family who I believe they're all um, connected to objects or something like that. Um, but it looks very really dark and very haunting and it is illustrated with these fabulous illustrations, which I absolutely love when middle grade books do that. So it just looks very unsettling and dark and just like something I'm really going to love. Next up is this gorgeous book, Ghostly, um, and it's a collection of ghost stories introduced and illustrated by uh, Audrey Niffenegger, which I am a big fan of. I have read all of her um, graphic novels and her, um, her, her novels, and I just adore her as an author. She does really, really fabulous things. Her writing style is fantastic, and as an artist, her drawings are just beautiful and haunting and I, I love them. So I'm so excited to own this. Um, I love ghost stories. It's something that I loved as a child and so it has stayed with the, stayed with me throughout my life and I'm really excited to pick this up. It's quite hefty um, and I'm definitely excited. I, I might save this for her um, Halloween and just kind of like dip in and out of it around that time. Um, but yes, I'm so happy to own it. Next up, I grabbed this short story collection for a great price. It is Daydreams of Angels, stories by Heather O'Neill. This is a magical realism short story collection, of course, and it just sounds super whimsical and dark and fantastic. And I've heard really good things about the author, but I've never picked anything up by her. So I'm really excited to give her a try. And I think she has quite a few other short story collections and or novels. So um, I love finding an author that has a backlist that I can explore. This next one is the book that I chose for my book of the month club and it is Only Love Can Break Your Heart by Ed Tarkington and <clears throat> this was recommended by Liberty Hardy who I love is on the um, All the Books pod podcast and she talked about it on there and then when I saw that it was a selection for the book of the month club I had to give it a try. It's not usually the type of book that I would go for. It's a realistic book about two brothers and um, their relationship and their struggle. I believe one of them disappears and the other one has to kind of um, either try to find him or deal with the loss of him being gone. And I've heard it's a very, very powerful read and I'm really excited to get to it. So Next, I talked about this in my TBR for February. It is The Readers of the Broken Wheel Recommend and it's by Katerina Bivold. I'm hoping to buddy read this later this month with uh, Chelsea over at The Reading Outlaw and it has been compared to the storied life of A.J. Fickrey. Um, it's about two girls who are kind of pen pals. They have a very um, relate, similar relationship to like 84 Charing Cross Road where they write books back and or write um, letters back and forth and send books to each other or something along those lines. And one of the girls goes to visit the um, other young girl 
And when she gets there, she is there for the girl's funeral. So the girl has passed away. She's in this town, this unfamiliar town, and she decides she's going to stay there and open a bookshop. And it kind of just talks about the power of books, the power of stories, and how they can bring us all together as human beings. And it just sounds really wonderful and heartwarming, and um, I'm hoping to love it. Next up is At the Mouth of the River of Bees, stories by Kais Johnson. And I saw this on Mercedes' channel a long time ago. I know she's read... Um, a couple of Kais Johnson's novels as well and really really enjoyed them. Um, this is also magical realism short stories and I've heard nothing but fantastic things about this. I mean people rave about this book. This is definitely up there in people's favorite magical realism short stories so I had to get this one and give it a try. Next is a book that has been on my TBR for so long and I happened to find this at a thrift store. It is Mr. Pip by Lloyd Jones. On a copper-rich tropical island shattered by war where the teachers have fled and almost everyone else, only one white man chooses to stay behind, the eccentric Mr. Watts, object of much curiosity and scorn, who sweeps out a ruined schoolhouse and begins to read to the children each day from Charles Dickens' classic Great Expectations. Um, so it just sounds really interesting. It's about a te teacher who decides to share the power of reading and the power of words with children in a devastated environment and... It sounds really wonderful. I love books that are about the power of reading, and I'm sure all of you guys do too, so I'm hoping that this will be another one of my favorites. Next up is another uh, thrift store find, and it is The Lantern by Deborah Lawrenson. I have already read this. I checked it out from a library a couple years ago, years ago and really enjoyed it. It is a gothic kind of ghost story, a, a modern gothic ghost story, and I remember really, really enjoying it. I don't remember it too well, in all honesty. Um, I would like to reread it at some point, but I know that I did really, really enjoy it, and so I'm glad that I own it, and I can read it whenever I want. Next up, I grabbed this uh, Green Glass House by Kate Milford, and I just think this cover is just absolutely beautiful, and I got it for a really, really great price. It is a middle grade novel, it says, it's wintertime at Green Glass House. In the creaky smugglers inn is always quiet during the season, and Milo, the innkeeper's adopted son, plans to spend his holidays relaxing. But on the first icy night of vacation, out of nowhere, the guest bell rings, then rings again, and again. Soon Milo's home is bursting with odd, secretive guests, each one bearing a strange story that is somehow connected to the rambling old house. As objects go missing and tempers flare, Milo and Medi, the cook's daughter, must decipher clues and untangle the web of the deepening mis mysteries to to discover the truth about Green Glass House and themselves. So I think that sounds absolutely brilliant. I love having middle grade on my shelves just in case I'm in a book fun funk and I can pick it up and it just really helps to get me out of that. And it's like a nice quick read, usually with beautiful writing. And I just, I can't wait to read this and I'm so happy to own it. And the last book that I purchased this month is A Wild Swan and Other Tales by Michael Cunningham. And... This has been going around book two quite a bit. Also, it is a collection of modern fairy tales, um, and it is by a wonderful author. And the book is just absolutely stunning. It has this a swan embossed on the cover. It's probably really hard to see. The back is gorgeous as well, and the illustrations are just fantastic. Let me see if I can get one. Isn't that just beautiful? So I knew that this was one that I really wanted to own and have on my shelf so that I could reread it whenever I wanted. And um, I'm very happy and excited to get to this one. So that is the end of my book haul for this month. I know it was a little long. Uh, I got almost all of these secondhand or at thrift stores. So I'm really happy about that. I didn't spend too much money on them. And um, I'd really like to know if you guys wanna read any of these, if you're going to be adding them to your TBR or if you've already read them, please leave me some comments down below so we can get talking. And I really hope you guys are having a fabulous month already. And I will see you in the next video. And until then, happy reading.